friends this is Manigandan coming to you again to make a shift in your mind on the 10 emotions of power the 10 emotions of power we all have a dominating force in our mind the dominating force is nothing but our emotion now whatever we do wherever we go or uh, whatever uh, kind of life atmosphere we face we're always dealt with our emotions our emotions are the masters of our mind we need to take control of the emotions so I'm here to talk to you about how better you can take control of your emotions look at that the 10 emotions of power these 10 emotions of power can eliminate any negative pattern of your life so many people have got their own negative patterns they can't even define what the negative pattern is for example a plus two student who has just completed his uh, plus two examination would not be able to explain the emotion that he has about how his life is going to how his life is going to be when he uh, goes to the college after the result has come if you talk about a businessman a businessman who has invested loads and loads of money towards his business he can't even define the emotion that he has got towards what he is expecting out of the investment that he has just made if you talk about uh, a homemaker or a housewife she can't even explain her emotions how she is going to deal with her family her husband and her f her kids uh, and how she is going to grow the kids uh, with the current competitive environment in the society if you talk about a senior citizen he cannot explain his emotion or he cannot define his emotion how he is dealing with in his mind uh, like how the rest of the days are going to be in his life and how is he going to gain the respect from the people uh, who are in his family likewise we have got so many people who are not even able to explain the emotions now I thought I could give you a particular resource where you can use 10 emotional patterns as weapons towards your pressing problems and pressures that you would be facing in your life now just imagine if you got about some 10 tools or 10 weapons and uh, you are able to have those tools and weapons along with you as a soldier has in a war uh, place and you are using those weapons towards the pressing problems and and kinds of pressures that you are having in your life so that I could make you a soldier of fighting the emotions so now for the next 10 to 15 minutes I want your complete attention towards this voice tape just look into those 10 kinds of emotional words which you could use anytime at any speed of life when you are trying to solve a particular problem so now I would explain this is a form of a circle now you're seeing a circle on the screen now I just want you to take a particular challenge or a particular problem or a particular situation that you are facing in your life which exclusively demands your complete level of courage confidence and uh, all the positive qualities of yourself think about your life just uh, look into the life spectrum and take a current challenge or a problem that you are having at the moment let us have that as your current challenge now I want you to just imagine that your current challenge is uh, in the middle of the circle as you could see in the screen right now it is just in the middle of the circle your current challenge whatever it may be it may be a family related problem or challenge it may be an education related challenge it may be your career related challenge it may be a relationship related challenge or any challenge with regard to the society any challenge with regard to your personal life whatever it may be take one challenge you know when I teach this to my students in the training I always ask them to uh, take a particular challenge that they are facing in the campus life and students don't have any scarcity for the challenges in the campus life they have got plenty of challenges and problems in the campus into the college or the school so it becomes easy for them to pick out one particular challenge likewise you might be of any category you might be a businessman a student uh, a family person or whoever you may be I just wanted to take the current challenge now come on focus on the current challenge now around the current challenge you've got about 10 sections a 10 section space which are segregated with black color lines now these 10 sections are the 10 emotional powers that I'm going to suggest to you what is the challenge all about now first roll over your mind thinking about the challenge what is the challenge is it uh, demanding your courage or is it demanding your confidence or is it demanding your kind of uh, uh, say say emotional strength 
what is the current challenge demanding from you think about that what is the current challenge demanding is it demanding your uh, uh, complete level of uh, optimism is it demanding complete level of mental toughness what is it demanding you got to think about that my dear friends because we need to make an analysis no, now no. whatever it may be it might be optimism it might be enthusiasm it might be mental toughness or problem solving techniques or proper decision making skills whatever the challenge can demand let me trigger out the first positive emotion instead of positive emotion i would even say it's a power emotion the first power emotion power emotion number 1 cultivate the emotion of love and want the emotion of love and affection the emotion of love and kindness now please check my dear friends you have a current challenge right i told you in the beginning of the tape that you need to imagine a current challenge or bring up a current challenge in your mind now just see will this power emotion number 1 help you to solve that current challenge and what is the power emotion number 1 cultivate the emotion of love and want that is seeing the things or seeing the concerned people in that particular problem or the current challenge with love and kindness for example this current challenge might be because of a person the challenge that you have imagined is a challenge that has been given by a particular person will giving love and kindness to that person solve that particular problem think if it is going to be a possibility then why don't we try that come on think of uh, the problem in a bigger way and think of the sorrows and the negative emotions that you had been having because of the problem and see if this power emotion number 1 can help you or not cultivating the emotion of love and warmth although it is not solving the problem it will at least be able to give you a comfortable feel that you are giving the love and warmth because when you are short tempered or uh, when you are taking some aggressive step towards solving the problem you are actually hurting yourself more than the person whom you try to hurt am i right it's a very simple logic that we all know so instead of that cultivating the emotion of love and want let me give you an example it's a problem of a businessman who has been completely deceived by a particular person a person has cheated a person has uh, really looted lots of money from the particular businessman and the businessman is uh, suffering a big problem because of that cheat cultivating the love and want it doesn't mean that the businessman has to treat him with complete love and affection as if he is treating his family member but maybe a little bit of kindness in telling the cheat that i didn't expect this from you but anyhow because of some circumstances you might have made it i really believe that you would be able to take all the money back to me if you are using this particular tactic of conversation with the cheat it means the businessman is using the power emotion number 1 of cultivating the emotion of love and want want means kindness it doesn't mean that you are losing your courage just because of your want it doesn't mean that you are losing your stubbornness just because of uh, being so much loving and caring so this is my power emotion number 1 now just think will this power emotion number 1 be useful for you in uh, solving the current challenge think about it but i won't say it is going to be suitable for all the nature of challenges or problems that you have for example it is not going to be highly useful when it is when it is a situation where you need to show your tough face it is not going to be useful where you need to show your strictness it entirely depends upon the nature of the challenge and the problem don't worry if this power emotion number 1 is not going to work we still have nine more emotions to be put into use and i am so much uh, confident that if not this power emotion number 1 you have power emotion number 2 to 10 you have so many power emotions that could really be able to help you in many regard but as of now think about it power emotion number 1 is your first weapon you can use it if not for this particular current challenge that you are having in your mind but maybe in the future so power emotion number 1 cultivate the emotion of love and want
if the first power emotion is not applicable for your current challenge then you have the next alternative power emotion number two cultivate the emotion of appreciation and gratitude live with an attitude of gratitude my friends maybe your current challenge needs this this power emotion number two cultivating the emotion of appreciation and gratitude that is appreciating whatever has to be appreciated in the current situation and thanking for whatever that has happened or whatever that is deserved to be thanked at the current situation you know something will be hidden in the current situation maybe that's a problem i know that is a problem and i also know that it is the current challenge which, which is giving you plenty of uh, risk taking situations but there could be something or somebody in the particular problem uh, for whom you can be uh, extending a sort of gratitude or whom you can appreciate so that there will be some sort of clinch like that try to pick that out and try to appreciate and give the gratitude okay i am happy that at least this problem has rendered me this particular activity i am happy that this problem has made me think on this way i am happy that th this person uh, has made me learn this particular aspect in this situation so i thank him for that or i thank that for that so appreciating and giving thankfulness for the people or the circumstance or the problem altogether now that's power emotion number 2 If you say the power emotion number one we saw right now is not applicable for the current challenge, you can use this power emotion number two, somewhere or other. Okay, it's a different story. If you say this power emotion number two is also not applicable for your current challenge, then it's a different story. We will discuss about the other steps later. But as of now, try to think of or try to pick up a particular person or a situation where uh, for whom you could. Uh, thank and uh, whom you could appreciate cultivating the emotion of appreciation and gratitude business people have always got this attitude they try to appreciate the problem givers and they thank uh, the problem givers for making the business people think in the next level you know the problems are opportunities to grow as we all know it makes us think in a different level so at least we can be thankful for that meaning right so cultivating the emotion of appreciation and gratitude living with an attitude of gratitude that is living with an attitude of thanking for whatever that has happened i thank god for giving me this problem i thank this man for making me think in a trivial situation likewise giving the thankfulness and appreciating is power emotion number 2 now check it out just check if this particular power emotion is useful for tackling the current challenge that you have on the middle of the circle and in the center of your mind so friends if your current challenge is not getting solved because of the power emotion number 2 also then you have the third alternative power emotion number 3 learn to be inquisitive as a child and cultivate curiosity like if the power emotion number 1 and power emotion number 2 are not properly working out the next thing or the next behavior or the next attitude that you need to bring into your mind is to behave like a child you know to be curious like a child children are always masters of questions as we all know with their curiosity they ask plenty of questions to us and we take patience enough to answer all their questions likewise you got to become like a child having the curiosity for learning how life is going to turn and you you need to learn new things in that perspective so you need to be inquisitive as a child and cultivate the curiosity sometimes in life uh, the biggest problems will not be in your control however big you try that is sometimes it, it goes to an extent that you can't even stretch it anymore and you have to give up during that time you will understand that after giving up you will understand that you have just uh, made it and it was a very very small distance and before that you just got out of it and you have given up instead of doing that you try to be inquisitive and you try to be very curious just like a child and trying to uh, get the information about how the problem can be sorted out so this kind of attitude 
will be the power emotion number three. And we all know behaving and thinking in the perspective of a child will give us more number of insights towards a problem and the problem will be easily solved. So how do you like this power emotion number three? And tell me, your current challenge in the middle of the circle, will this approach that is power emotion number three be useful for solving the current challenge? Well, if you think power emotion number one, number two and number three are not really applicable for you, then I don't leave you. I will be having another solution for you and that solution is power emotion number four cultivate the feeling of excitement and passion but I don't have any other way out my dear friends if you say number one number two and number three are not working towards solving the current challenge then you have power emotion number four having the passion and excitement to to solve the problem creating the toughness and creating the real amount of passion to the mind for solving the problem and challenging the destiny bring your best shot you are behaving like a fighter in front of the destiny and you are asking the destiny to give the best shot and you are really battling with it. That's the power emotion number four. And I'm sure more of the youngsters will be really loving this kind of emotion, power emotion number four, because youngsters naturally have this emotion. They really have the passion and they really have the excitement in whatever the situation they are subjected to. And I'm just asking you to ignite that. I'm just asking you to fine-tune it and switch it on so that you will be able to face the current challenge. If the first three power emotions are not applicable, this fourth emotion will really be able to destroy your current challenge and, and take you, pull it off out of it. So, cultivate the feeling of excitement and passion. Be strong and be so much animated for taking the challenge on your shoulder being completely excited and being completely passionate about what it is going to be whatever the problem is the problem is with related to your career your future with a person or with a group of people or with the particular organization if you are a worker wherever it is if you are getting excitement and passion you need to have the mental toughness as you know the willpower is much more stronger than even the body power so raising the quantum of willpower is the power emotion number four cultivate the feeling of excitement and passion just a little fine tuning in the subconscious mind will bring the excitement and passion it will make you even brave it will make you get more tough for facing the challenges well Power emotion number four will be applicable for almost all the challenges that you are going to face in the world. But if you're still not convinced with power emotion number four, I would say you take power emotion number five. Determination makes the difference between being stuck and getting progressed. There is a huge difference between a person who is being stuck in a particular problem and the person who is getting progress towards solving the problem. Which category you actually belong to? determination category or uh, being stuck category because a person who is determined will be getting progressed and he will be progressed towards solving the problem and the person who is not determined will be stuck in the problem this is my power emotion number five if the previous four emotions are not very much applicable uh, towards your current challenge that is in the circle and, and in, in the center of your mind you can use the power emotion number five determined with your own self and determine with your own skills and trying to be so much passionate about that is a little difference between power emotion number four and power emotion number five in power emotion number four you are completely excited and passionate and in power emotion number five my dear friends you are determined determination is much more stronger than being excited and being passionate that means you are having your muscles your heart and your mind stronger than ever determination so power emotion number five is completely applicable towards losses and problems like uh, problems with related to relationship problems with related to business loss and problems with related to family power emotion number six 
if the power emotion number five is not properly put into use and if we feel all the five emotions that we have seen so far are not really helping to solve the problem or facing the current challenge then you can try using this power emotion number six adopt the attitude of flexibility being flexible my dear friends I mean without our knowledge we are flexible in so many areas of our life if you could see our normal sphere of life the rates of budget we are flexible of the family issues we are flexible towards uh, the government plenty of things that we cannot even control for example we are getting flexible more and more towards terrorism these days because we don't have any control over the terrorism as a normal citizen of India you and me cannot do anything towards terrorism we can only pray that the terrorism should not be getting multiplied so there are plenty of areas where we are supposed to have enormous amount of control and there are many areas on which we don't even have a sort of control the problems which are out of your control all the problems for which you have to be very flexible I repeat the problems which are out of your control are the problems towards which you have to be very very flexible so adopting flexibility is uh, going to make you much more stronger in others perspective also other people will feel that you are much more patient and you have enormous amount of tolerance you also need to understand that being flexible you are taking plenty of people in your network when you're having the flexibility people will find it very comfortable to be along with you they will find it very easy to have a relationship with you so now think about this your current challenge is it requiring a, a sort of flexibility from your side if the other five emotions are not working towards solving the problem the current challenge that you have got in the middle of the circle then why don't you use flexibility so be flexible you need to reduce your standards I mean the standards you need to reduce your the short temper nature you need to reduce your sensitivity and you need to reduce your expectations then the flexibility will automatically come if anything is not possible try to be a pretended flexible person act as if you are flexible that will naturally give you the power of being flexible so power emotion number six is attitude of flexibility Which brings me to power emotion number seven. If you are not okay with power and emotion number six also, then look at this power emotion number seven. Consistently experience confidence. With the power of faith, you can always imagine accomplishing the thing and cast its satiety. All the six emotions are not put into use, then you can cling on to the seventh positive emotion, the power emotion, my dear friends. Consistently experiencing the confidence. Try to experience the confidence. Remember the past accomplished things. Remember the past praises and appreciations that you have got from the others. Remember your own true identity that you have been having in the past. Think about all that. That is how you build your confidence. You cannot get a particular miracle from stores or departmental stores so that you can raise your confidence. Confidence can be raised only by thinking about your true identity and flashing back the past achievements so consistently experience confidence have the power of faith imagine as if you have accomplished a particular task which is in front of you the power of imagination I mean if you have an assignment imagining as though you have already completed the assignment that kind of imagination will give you enormous amount of confidence that's power emotion number seven Power emotion number eight. Cheerfulness is power. It means living in pain will not give you solutions. How true the statement is. When you are sad, living in that pain and living in that saddest moment is not going to help you. You need to get cheerful. If all the other seven power emotions are not working, you can try this eighth power emotion towards your current challenge. Become cheerful. Become enthusiastic become energetic and become unstoppable 
that's what is called as cheerfulness because cheerfulness is power you are no longer living in pain which means you are refusing to lose you don't want to lose my dear friends you still want to win i mean you are falling down and when you are getting up again you are getting more stronger you are getting up with lots of strength than it was in the past having more of cheerfulness having full of life in the mind and 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 approaching everything walking faster talking louder trying to bring a positive difference somehow within yourself that's cheerfulness power emotion number 8 Power emotion number nine. Well, if all these eight emotions are not working, then something is wrong with your health. I repeat, something is wrong with your health, because I have been giving all these eight power emotions for solving the problem, and your mind says that, "Ah, oh, come on, I'm not going to use it, and this is not going to be applicable," which means your health has got some problem. Your health hardware is not permitting your software brain. to perform properly so my power emotion number 9 is nurturing your own vitality and health trying to do something towards your health and trying to do something towards your vitality increasing uh, your uh, work hours towards the exercise reducing the work hours of your professionalism and trying to be very choosy in terms of uh, picking up the right nutritional food eating at the right time sleeping at the right time sleeping with a good quantity and quality eating with a good quantity and quality so when you do these two things consistent on a consistent basis it means you are nurturing your own vitality and your own health so if all these eight emotions are not working it means your health has to be improved and the power emotion number 9 is okay if i think that my problem is standing taller than me then i'll have to do something with the health nurture your own vitality and health do something towards your health change your sleeping approach and change your food habits and change your exercising habits this power emotion will really help you to get across the problem and if all the nine are not working and if you're still not convinced and satisfied comes the last power emotion power emotion number 10 the secret to living is giving try to give someone something at least a piece of advice when you provide something or when you give something to someone it is uh, really going to boost up your morale it is going to boost up your confidence training your brain to be very generous and try to give something something maybe having a mindset of giving something to someone every day if not any other physical property goods at least a piece of advice or at least a piece of suggestion for what the person is thinking and what the person is planning for the secret to living is giving so analyze your current challenge analyze the problem i think you have to give something i think you have to provide something i think you have to fetch your helping hand so that your current challenge or the problem which has not been solved so far to get solved so now think on these lines my dear friends the secret to living is giving so this power emotion number 10 is very humanitarian in fact is the most powerful than all the other nine power emotions being humanitarian and giving something to the others so try to think take the problem in your mind what can you give and whom can you give and if you are giving when are you going to do it why don't you do it immediately if you think that this power emotion number 10 is going to work for you then why don't you apply this power emotion right now so think about all that power emotion number 10 is being generous being humanitarian giving for the pleasure of giving So you are now seeing the 10 emotions the power emotions that we have dealt with in the past 30 minutes 
you'll have to understand that you should never be an emotionally handicapped person all i wanted you to do is use the power emotion any power emotion out of the 10 power emotions you have seen according to the situation that is arising in your life so we have spent almost 30 minutes in discussing all these power emotions all these 10 power emotions for only one simple reason and that simple reason is get going have the power always gain the power always during the problems and during the pressing situations of your life stop arguing with people and stop getting so much dull with what is happening in your life and stop arguing with the destiny and stop questioning things just take the power emotion in accordance with the current situation and use it as a weapon and be as a strong soldier who deals with any kind of problem that could come in life so friends it is actually a system for making you much better in terms of leadership the other people should feel that you have uh, uh, a big command in yourself and they should also feel that you are something different now that is a form of personal leadership i would even call this as leadership without title you are in a moderate job and you are in living you are living a very moderate kind of life but still the dealing or the the problem facing ability is much more unique than any other person that we could normally face in our life so i want you to be unique i want you to be ever prepared for solving the problem and i want you, i want you to take the challenge right on your shoulders to face things so analyze the current challenge or whatever problem you have in that situation and try to use one of these 10 power emotions it's a habit you know as days progress when you are trying to use these power emotions according to the situations it naturally becomes as a, a default habit in your mind and you become a natural problem solver and not expecting the fire to cease and not expecting the fire to get grown you are basically having the tenacity of punching the problem on its face and challenging the destiny to give the best shot ever so become personal leaders and try to habitualize these 10 power emotions and live a life of example this is manigandan psychological trainer you have my contact information right now on the slide when you have any clarification you can always contact me and it is my honest duty to serve you and to solve your problems until i meet you with the next visual tip i would like to say one more thing always live with passion and always challenge your own personal origins and live a life of leadership thank you so much for the opportunity given and bye for now